Hey, I'm Shay and welcome back to my channel, Books with Shay. Today, I am doing something a little different for Vlogmas. I love you guys' comments that keep coming in. I'm having the hardest time keeping up with them, but I will definitely get back to everybody eventually. It feels so nice to log on every morning when I wake up and see all of the comments that you guys have left for me, and I just, it's become one of my very favorite parts of Vlogmas. But in those comments, a lot of you guys have been saying that you would be totally down for a little bit different of a layout next Vlogmas, that you like having the videos every day, but you would totally be cool with pre-recorded videos or just kind of a mix of videos versus it being me trying to actually vlog every day. And so I'm thinking I might do a, a half and half mix next year of half pre-recorded videos and half vlogging videos up until Christmas. So you guys, again, if you didn't comment about it before, leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like that. But today we're doing almost like a trial run for that because before Vlogmas started, I filmed a video that was us going and doing our Christmas tradition of picking out our Christmas tree and we got to a Christmas tree farm and we cut it down ourselves and it's just a Chris Christmas tradition that we do every single year and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about that but I have a lot of b-roll footage like half an hour maybe of b-roll footage from us going and doing that and I wanted to be able to share that with you guys but I didn't know where to fit it in because it wasn't exactly a vlogmas video but after the new year comes it's kind of irrelevant it's something I really wanted to show you guys before Christmas and so today I'm going to show you guys that footage but before we do that I am going to go ahead and do my daily bookish unboxing or my 25 reads of Christmas book and then after I do that I'm gonna find the bear for today so you guys get the normal kind of routine of footage but then I'm gonna kind of give you a little treat of seeing what we do when we're preparing for Christmas especially because on the day you guys see this it's gonna be Christmas Eve because I'm one behind so you'll probably get two vlogs on Christmas Eve and then one on Christmas and vlogmas will be over because you guys will see this on Christmas Eve I thought what better way to get you kind of into the Christmas spirit than seeing what we do to prepare for Christmas so let's go ahead and do our daily bookish unboxing this one is in as you guys know my very favorite wrapping with the hipster Santas the ho 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 the gold foiling on the letters and the beautiful gold bow I love this one so much it's hardcover, it's definitely a bigger book, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess adult fantasy, which is what I guessed, yeah, not yesterday. I feel like a couple of days ago I guessed adult fantasy and I was correct. This one is gray under the dust jacket, which is cool because I feel like we don't see very much gray. If you guys can see that. Let's see what we got. <gasps> I think I know what it is. Okay, so this is what I can see. And my guess, based off of just this, I have the hardcover editions of both Never Night and of God's Grave, but I don't have Dark Dawn. And I've been really wanting to get Dark Dawn. I've read Never Night, I have, I've started God's Grave, but I haven't finished it. And then this is the conclusion to the Never Night trilogy, Dark Dawn. And I am hoping, because I don't have this on my shelf, I don't have it in paper, but I like, I don't have it on my shelves at all so would be great. Yeah. oh my goodness you did an awesome job babe this is a signed first edition of dark dawn by jay kristoff i am so excited is this this might technically be ya it seems adult but the main character is a teenager i'm pretty sure so i think this is considered ya fantasy but it, it reads adult to me but this is the conclusion of the nevernight series by jay kristoff i am obsessed with the series so far i loved nevernight i'm loving dark dawn so far or loving dark dawn loving god's grave so far i've actually 
been reading it very very slowly because I loved it so much and didn't have this one yet and I didn't want to finish that one and not have this one and so I'm so excited look at this I'm so excited to add this to my shelves and this is just ah this was such a happy open so this is Dark Dawn I just I feel like this is gonna wreck me like oh I feel like this is gonna wreck me I cannot wait to get to this this is just yay great job babe so let me tell you about this vlog you're about to see and then I'll go find the bear and we will and I'll, I'll I'll wrap up for today. So when I was in high school I lived with my dad for a little while and while I was living with my dad I didn't have access to my mom and it was just a really kind of difficult time in my life and I had a voice teacher during high school who kind of took me under her wing and loved me like I was her own and so every Christmas she would invite me over to her house around Christmas time and she she would make a huge Italian feast because she was Italian and we would decorate the Christmas tree and we would watch the movie Elf and I had a really rough few years like my junior and senior year of high school like really sophomore through senior year of high school I had a really really hard time and so she was a key figure in my life who really just loved me so well and helped me to kind of get through that rough time and when I was a senior in high school she actually passed away and it was just really really devastating but I always wanted to keep her memory alive and so I every year the day after Thanksgiving I would do the same thing that I did with her where I would make an Italian feast bake cookies from scratch decorate the Christmas tree and watch the movie Elf in her honor and so because of the tradition of doing that and her honor her name is Debbie and so we started calling it Debbie Day and so the day after Thanksgiving for us every year is Debbie Day and we go to the Christmas tree farm we cut down our own Christmas tree we get all the decor we come home we make a big Italian feast we cook some bake some cookies from scratch we decorate the Christmas tree and we watch Elf and so I wanted to share with you the picking of the Christmas tree portion of Debbie Day. I hope you guys enjoy. It's a tradition that's near and dear to my heart and I hope that it is something that you're able to appreciate as much as I do. And yeah, I feel like that got really sad and emotional but it's a happy thing to remember her. She really did just love Christmas so much. She had like six, seven trees in her house every year. Just, she loved it so, so much. So I'm glad to be able to remember her in that way. So yeah, let's go find a bear and then we'll hop into some Debbie Day footage. There's a little bit of talking sprinkled throughout, but it's a big solid chunk of like half an hour or something. I may be able to cut it down to 20 minutes or so of pretty much B-roll footage. So if you're somebody who loves like aesthetic or aesthetic, <laughs> if you're someone who loves Christmas shots to music and things like that, that will kind of get you in the spirit of Christmas, this is the vlog for you. And if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, yeah, let's find a bear. I was waiting for this day this very day where it was hidden like an ornament instead of like lurking in the garland or something. And I'm so excited to say that the day has come. Come here, little bear. Come fulfill your destiny.
Santa's busy staying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace He's gonna start cutting down, so don't find anything better. Okay, so my mom just found what I think is the perfect tree. She's doing a last sweep because she is a perfectionist and wants to make sure this is the best one here. But this tree behind me is the one I think we're gonna get. Caleb, my little brother, is standing here next to it and him and LT, which you guys know and love. He's back there somewhere. They're gonna cut it down together. Oh my goodness, look at him. They're being ridiculous talking about cutting down these big old trees in the back. T. You're about to get us in trouble. You get us kicked out. What'd you say, Mom? The one, this one right here is it? Okay, so we just figured it out. This one is the one. So I'm gonna get some footage of LT and Caleb cutting this down. I like to cut down the last little bit, but I'm gonna let them started out for me. I like how you're the same color as the tree. You have some real blending going on with your little khaki stump and <laughs> green top. doing the hard job of holding it while it's being cut. So LT normally cuts the beginning of the tree and then I like to get in there and get the last little bit and it looked to me like he was getting pretty far. So I thought, I, <laughs> so I thought I'm gonna hop down there. And I'm gonna, you know, put, take one for the team. And saw the rest of this bad boy. Got on my hands and knees down there in that dirt. And uh, turns out I couldn't move the saw at all. He's very strong and is making it look very easy. But it, the tree trunk is so thick that I couldn't move it back and forth hardly one time. Much less the sawing motion that's happening. Like, let me show you him doing it. Where it's like actually moving. I couldn't get it back and forth at all. So LT, while you do some leisurely sawing, do you want to tell the people why this is your favorite tradition? Uh, is it mostly the sawing? <laughs> fun part? Mostly the sawing is yeah. the fun part? You love it just so much? Almost as much as the stickers in the grass. Wow, it's the best! Hopefully I get some really aesthetic shots so you guys can truly see the joy of Christmas in these woods here today. This is not, we're not in the woods. What's your favorite part, Caleb, of the tradition? The fact that you're... Uh, it's the fact that my fingers are... It's only getting harder and harder to open the more I open and shut them. Fantastic! We're having so much fun! Mom, what's your favorite part? I, so I have two favorite parts. My first favorite part is when you guys brought me up here five years ago and we were passing that cemetery for a long time. And I was like, this is just a cemetery. We are not going to Christmas tree park. This is a cemetery. What's up? The second part is that we have a tradition and that you can come and 
and actually pick and choose your own tree, cut it down, take it back, and have a little fun while you're waiting for them to package it. Yeah, see? Mom is the only one who had a real, <laughs> who had a real answer. Brother has sappy fingers. LT has sore biceps, triceps, deltoids, quadriceps, pectoral muscles, his chin muscles hurt. There's a lot happening. Falling, all the windows in the rain. 
Did you see him back there creeping on us, trying to see what you like? No! You didn't even notice I had it, did you? No, it? thank you. That's why when I walked up, you were like, what you buy? And I was like, nothing. And I thought you would look down, you was like, oh, okay. And I was like, well, she's really <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> So we tied down the tree. <laughs> I'm updating what's happening. So we tied down the tree, and as soon as we got on the highway, it starts sliding back, and we're trying not to hit somebody on the highway with the tree that is tied to, I don't even know if you can see this, it's tied right here, to the roof of the car. So now we're on the side of the highway. This is the highway right next to me. We're on the side of the highway, and all of my family members are are outside of the car trying to reattach the tree to the car. Let's hope, let's hope we make it home. Let's just pray for us. Well, thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day. What was this, 23? I think it's 23. Thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 23. No, 22. This is 22. <laughs> Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching Vlogmas Day 22. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.